Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and uh, while ye old uh, Ford Ranger takes a leak <laughs> um, I'm just trying to drain the coolant system out so I can uh, eh, well fool about. Uh, I was also looking at the headlights a little bit and uh, one of the things that I wanted to do and I purchased these a while ago is I, I wanted to swap out the halogen lights that were installed in the truck with LED lights. Now this is a pretty common upgrade that a lot of people will do. They'll put LED headlights in uh, to replace the the original like halogen lights uh, headlights. Now one of the differences though between halogen and these uh, LED lights is that LEDs are just a lot more efficient. I, I don't know the exact number but uh, based on lumens per wattage it appears that these led headlights will output about four times as much light per watt as the halogen will so uh, there's a massive benefit in the amount of projected light that you get out and so i kind of wanted to talk about that because i think some electric vehicle owners might also be duped into the idea of leds being so much more efficient than these halogen and part of the reason for that uh, might be like if you go look at your home you know you have the 60 watt equivalent light bulbs that are only like 9 or 10 maybe 12 or 14 watts but they're the led uh, so there's this massive amount of power gain and for lights that are on all the time in your home you know you're saving uh, hundreds of dollars possibly a year uh, on your power bill if you switch out all of your interior uh, incandescent lights uh, with LED lights but uh, that efficiency might not actually uh, translate to an electric vehicle and I kind of wanted to talk about why uh, maybe dive into the numbers a little bit uh, and then explain like I think the last time I checked the price on these these are like 40 or 45 dollars to order online uh, and, and just in terms of recouping how much you pay based on the efficiency gains <laughs> it's probably not going to happen, right? So uh, I, I even see the build date on this uh, Sylvania is July 19th or July 1999. Uh, <laughs> so these are over 20 years old. Um, and, you know, I haven't tested them out. I'm assuming that they work. Uh, you know, most of this vehicle, there's there's only like 30,000 miles or whatever on this truck. Um, but... Uh, you know, replacing these would be a lot cheaper than replacing with LED. Um, but there is that energy gain. But how much is it really? Uh, well, remember what I said initially is it appears that there's about four times as much light uh, per unit of power that you that you use. And so these, based on the numbers that I found, and I can't validate this, but this also works just to kind of simplify the math, is that these uh, take about 40 watts per bulb. So combined, the two headlights uh, take about 120 uh, watts to, uh, to operate. So when the headlights are on, you're drawing 120 watts that comes out of your 12 volt battery uh, that has to be recharged by your traction battery. Uh, these take about 60 watts for the pair. So literally half the energy to run these as to run the original headlights the halogen headlights from this ford ranger electric but what does that mean in terms of real world numbers and i'm going to give just some basic examples and i'm going to round off the math so uh, it, it's just a little simpler to understand i understand that there's probably going to be a, a very subtle differences in in real world and the numbers aren't going to be exactly uh, right uh, but at about 45 miles an hour, this Ford Ranger should do about four miles per kilowatt hour, a little bit better than that. Uh, that consumption translates out to about 250 watt hours per mile. So if you drive for 60 minutes, an hour, uh, you're gonna go 45 miles and you're gonna use 11.25 kilowatt hours. Now, if you take these and replace them, uh, and, and say that was using these, right, the headlights were on for that hour that you were driving. If you replace them with these uh, LED lights, well, now you can basically take 0.06 kilowatt hours off of that, right? So now it's taking you 11.19 uh, kilowatt hours to drive 45 
miles. Well, when you really break that down, your watt hours per mile, you're only saving maybe one, one and a half watt hour per mile. So you're going from four miles per kilowatt hour uh, to like 4.01. 4.02 something really ridiculously small in terms of of the amount of gain it's it's going to be very very small and that's driving 45 miles an hour that's a very efficient speed as you increase the efficiency right the the impact will uh, become greater uh, but even something like an aptera right where it's supposed to be getting close to 100 watt hours per mile um you're going to see a 1% gain. So instead of going 100 miles on a battery charge, you'll go 101 miles. So as you can see, the efficiency just really isn't a, a reason to get these LEDs. Not the, not the cost, um, not the complication, right? This comes uh, with a driver. Uh, you have to actually, oh, I'm supposed to be wearing white gloves when I get into these. But um, yeah, if you look in, they have drivers, adapters, all sorts of things that you have to do. There's a heat sink uh, because these LEDs uh, will generate heat that needs to be dissipated. So there's a lot of complication as opposed to this bulb that basically just works, right? And is a lot cheaper. So you're never gonna recoup it in terms of money. So why would I still get LEDs? Well, there still are reasons beyond that efficiency and efficiency gain, because like I said, four times the light um, for the same amount of power. So these are half the power, but that means they're still double the illumination. So uh, these should, should provide about twice as much illumination uh, for the 60 watts that they draw as um, these were providing for the 120 watts that they, they draw. And that's important, right? Because if these are not going to light the road well, and, and I actually got a very modest pair. I think some people overdo it in terms of LED lights, blinding oncoming drivers, things like that, things that you don't want to do. And then the other aspect of it too is the type of light that these project is a different temperature. So these these would be closer to what they would consider like a setting sun type uh, daylight, right? Or actually maybe even warmer than that, almost more of a yellowish orange tone um, that doesn't necessarily illuminate everything fully. Whereas these are 6,000 to 6,500 Kelvin. So this would be about 3,000 Kelvin. These are about 60... 500, 6,000 to 6,500 Kelvin. So they're going to produce what's almost more like true daylight, closer to a white light. And that is going to illuminate a lot more things. Even if it were the same light level between these two, uh, you're going to be able to see better because the quality of light that these are outputting is better. So that's another actual, you know, sort of important aspect of it. Uh, beyond just the power gain, um, it's, it's just nice to be able to both illuminate better and to have the light that you're using be better. So I'm really rolling up my sleeves with this Ford Ranger. I'm doing a lot of work on it right now. Not a whole lot of stuff that I'm sharing in terms of videos, unfortunately, uh, but I'm hoping to get it up and running very, very soon, get it out on the road, get it driving around, and then I can, I can really kind of dive into the actual experience of maybe using these better headlights uh, that weren't really available 20 years ago when this truck came out. Um, and, uh, you know, just all of the other minor changes, things that I'm doing, uh, de-rusting the frame, putting a new bumper on there. And like I said, fidgeting with the cooling system. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now, um, trying to get a new charger in. Um, I'll probably end up pulling, um, the, the cord and port that I had put in initially, um, just to get the, the new charger out. So, uh, but anyway, I just thought I would share this because I think a lot of people might be. Um, under the wrong impression about just what kind of gains they'll see by going from halogen uh, to LED. Just know what you're getting into. It's not necessarily an efficiency thing. It's more of a quality of light thing. <laughs> uh, quality of light. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share. So, like I said, hopefully these integrate well. I'll work on putting them in and kind of cover how, how I install them, how I take them out. Um, there's some interesting things with the the Ford Ranger Electric that, uh, you know, brings me back to the days 20, 30 years ago when I was working on Ford trucks a lot. 
a lot more than I have been recently. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, I'll, I'll try to share as I, as I go along, but anyway, just wanted to do a quick check-in and I uh, hope that was helpful. I hope it was illuminating. And if uh, you enjoyed it, please uh, like, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and thank you for watching.